Welcome to another Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle EPM, hosted by Interrail. I'm Glenn Schwartzberg, and I'll be your host today for What's New in SmartView 11.1.2.5.x, x meaning the base version and the patches. So first, let's talk a little bit about SmartView, what SmartView is. SmartView allows you to connect to multiple products within and outside of the EPM stack. For example, S-Base Planning, Hyperion Financial Management, Hyperion Profitability and Cost Management, Strategic Finance, the different reporting and analysis tools, Financial Reports, Web Analysis, Interactive Reporting, Production Reporting. In this version, what's new is you can also connect to Enterprise Performance Reporting Cloud Services, EPRCS. You can connect to Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition, OBIEE and other financial modules, like the Fusion Financials. If you want to learn more about what SmartView is, you can watch our video, What is SmartView? Before we get into this version, let's talk about compatibility. First, you'll notice that SmartView uses a different numbering scheme than the rest of the EPM product line. So the, most of the product line is on 11.1.2.4, some of it 11.1.2.3.500 or .3. OBIEE is on 11.1.1.9 right now. And the reason why they wanted to change the numbering scheme for SmartView is they wanted to be able to do updates more frequently and not tie them to an EPM release. So this way, if OBIEE gets some new features that it needs, they can do a release that would be specific for OBIEE functionality. If SBase or planning gets something that they need specifically, they don't have to wait for the whole product line to be updated. SmartView is backward compatible with earlier versions of EPM and OBIEE. There are some limitations. For example, with OBIEE, the minimum release that you want to be on, 11.1.1.7.1, for S-Space, it will work against the 11.1.1.x series, but really to get full functionality, you want to be at least on 11.1.2.1.102, being the patch level or higher. Because of the frequent changes to SmartView, you want to be on the most recent release whenever you can. So as a new release comes out, you want to upgrade to it. You don't want to wait until you upgrade your entire EPM stack of products. So let's get into talking about what's new and what's great in 11.1.2.5. The first thing is, is the SmartView installer was improved, was made easier to use, and made the install process more streamlined. For example, there used to be two installers, one for 32-bit and one for 64-bit. They've now been merged into one single install program. The other thing is, is you used to have to download SmartView from the web, put it on your server. Now, when you actually go to do an upgrade, like through Workspace, it goes directly out to Oracle site to grab the latest version of SmartView. Within SmartView from the document contents pane, you can now change the connections that's on a SmartView document. And this is really useful when you're sharing office documents between department, that point to different servers or you're moving from test to production or you want to connect to a different s-base cube that might have the same dimensionality the document contents pane can also now be hidden completely when another panel is displayed so for example if i'm looking at my private connections i can hide the document contents panel and we're no longer required to refresh the contents of a form before submitting the data after a POV change. So I can go ahead and, and make a POV change and then put in my numbers and then just submit it and I have no problems. With this release of SmartView, they've added functionality to display fully qualified substitution variable names when variable names are duplicated. So for example, if you have global application and database level variables in SBase, you can now see or you can now select where you're going to pull that variable from. There were two new VBA functions introduced in this release, Hype Hide Ribbon Menu 
and hype hide ribbon menu reset. The hide ribbon menu hides the ribbon menu items passed into this function. So you can create a customized ribbon hiding certain things that you don't want your users to see. And then of course the reset puts them back on the screen. Starting with this version, this is the first version that supports Windows 8 and supports Office 2013, both the 32 and 64 bit versions. It also now supports Microsoft Surface Pro tablets. Moving on to the .200 release, a lot of these enhancements were for OBIEE. There were a couple of more general ones. So now you can use the View Designer in OBIEE to edit views that were created in Smart View. In prior releases, you could do the initial designer, and then once you saved it, you actually had to go edit it back in Answers to make changes. Now you can come back in and you can make changes to it. Smart View supports multiple OBIEE private connections on one worksheet, one slide, or one document, depending on if you're in Excel, Word, or PowerPoint. You can drag and drop and reposition columns for an OBIE report within an edge in the view designer. The new apply to all sheets option. This is really cool. In the options for smart view, you could save as defaults in the past on the OK button. If you use a little drop down arrow. Now, if you change what your defaults are, there's a little arrow that says to apply it to all of the open sheets in the workbook. So if you make a change, you can actually apply that change across all of the sheets. There is an option in the options dialog called improved metadata storage. Now it is selected by default the first time you open up SmartView 11125.200. And you really, unless you have specific needs with older versions, you really should leave this checked to get the best performance in SmartView. When SmartView is used with planning, at least release 11.1.2.3.500 or later, more than one type of spreading is supported on the same column or row dimension. For example, if you have years going across your form, you can have FY 2013 have a formula fill, while FY 2014 could have a flow type of fill. There's a new formatting option, repeat member labels, introduced for planning and financial management. And this option allows the readability of forms to be better by allowing the member names to appear on each row of data. So just like in S-Space, if we use repeat member labels, if you wanted to do some type of filtering, it makes it a little bit easier to do those kind of things. The release also provides a smarter display of members in planning forms when non-consecutive levels of a hierarchy are used. So what this means is, suppose that I'm using generation two and generation six, or level zero and, and level five. What would happen in the past is planning smart view forms would try and say, okay, you're five levels deep, so I need to indent five levels. Well, now it looks at it and says, well, let me do a proportional spacing and just indent a little bit because I don't have those four intermediate levels. So it takes much, much less room on your planning form. And finally, in this release, what people think is a little bit of funniness, I think is actually a big deal. The product has now been renamed. It is no longer Hyperion Smart View, but it's Oracle Smart View. And the reason for this is that Oracle has discovered that Smart View is more than just the EPM product line. They use it for OBIE, they use it for the Fusion apps, and they wanted to show that it is a more general tool within the product line, and it's not just the Hyperion products anymore. In 11.1.2.5.400, there are a whole lot of new options. The first one is Submit Data Without Refresh, allows you to submit modified cells called Dirty Cells from S-Base, Planning, Ad Hoc, or financial management without first refreshing. This was actually available for S-Base in an earlier release, but now it's been expanded to planning and to HFM. There's a new submit data range option that lets you select individual cells that you want to submit as opposed to submitting the entire form. So you can select individual cells from S-Base or planning ad hoc or financial management. And when you click on 
submit, it will only submit those cells for you. When you're connected to SBase in 11.1.2.4 or later, the POV toolbar allows pivoting behavior to be different. You can now pivot multiple members from the grid to the POV toolbar, or you can pivot multiple members that are in the POV back to the grid, and a single dimension can now remain on the POV toolbar. You can customize the extension update process so that smart view end users can control when they install, update, or remove extensions. Extensions are things like the metadata manager for planning, where you can update planning metadata. You can choose whether or not you want to install that or when you want to be able to upgrade that or change it. In 11.125.400, we also have a new diagnostic tool. And this has to be enabled through the options. And when you do, you get a new SmartView Diagnostics menu on the SmartView tab. And what happens is it allows you to save off different pieces of what you're doing. So you can basically put it into a folder structure and then you can save off data. You can create snapshots of it. And interestingly enough, you can actually even mask the data and the metadata members. So if you have to send this off to Oracle, they can't see your real information. They just get what your process is doing. So while it says that you can send all of this off to Oracle, you can also do this to help your users out. If they're having a problem, you can turn on diagnostics, have them create this folder, send it to you. You could look at the screenshots, you can look at the process that they're doing in order to help them diagnose what their issue might be. Continuing on the member selection dialog box for business rules and for modifying user variables on forms is now the same as the standard member dialog box. So they've added consistency through the process. So all of the member selections now look alike. The SBase administrator can require that users specify a username and a password when logging on to the data source to access drill through reports that were created in SBase Studio. For this, you have to be on 11.1.2.4 of SBase Studio because there is actually an option in there as well to turn on this functionality. In prior versions, you don't have this functionality. And then when defining filter expressions for OBIE views in the view designer, large amounts of data used to make smart view choke. Well, now what they do is they bring in your selections by group until you've viewed everything and made your selections from the entire data list. And that way you can bring in smaller chunks and actually get it to work, as I would say, more better. In the view designer again, you have the pivot table view that you can now reorder the measures label to be within the column edge and move it to any edge except the measures edge. And the sheet option dialog box in Excel now presents consistent information across SBase planning, financial management, including the connection status and other information. If you really want more information, see the sheet information in the Smart View guide, it will show you exactly, but at least now it's consistent and it's more easily read. Recently a patch included 410. There was no new functionality that was included in this patch, but if you're using OBIEE, you might want to look at it because there are two pretty significant bug fixes that were included in this patch.